Hello friends and fellow collectors, thanks for joining me for another edition of Diecast Emporium. In this video, we're going to be going over all six pieces that can be found in the 164 scale CAT Diecast Models assortment. The item number for the box, 85690A. And again, a very quick recap for those that may have not seen any of my mass market uh, reviews yet. So Diecast Masters is making a heavy push into the mass market area. So the you may have seen some of these at your local Menards or Tractor Supply the end of last year. Now, if things continue to go according to plan, you're going to be seeing Diecast Masters in a lot more retailers, which again, is really good um, to continue to get the name out there. Honestly, what Diecast Masters has done with the cat license in the less than 10 years that they've held it is truly remarkable. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside the case. We look down here. So I did already open this prior to inspection, that's why it's not, or prior to the video for inspection, that's why it is not sealed. So first out, we have two skid steer loaders, and I'll go over the packaging here for the first time on this one. I really like the construction skyline scene in the, in the back. Uh, here you have ages 8 and up, made of die cast metal with plastic, highly detailed moving parts, authentic cat trade dress, and paint color. Uh, now, for some of you that are wondering what is the difference between these 164 scale cat models and the ones that Diecast Masters has had for a few years now, the biggest difference is that a lot of the metal content has been replaced with plastic and some of the functionality has been removed. The trade-off, of course, is that these are much, much less expensive than some of the other ones. Uh, and again, for what these are intended to do, and that is to get young eyes into our hobby and started at an early age, they exceed in that role very very well all right so again this is the set with the two skid steer loaders so we have a 272d uh skid steer loader and a 297d2 multi-terrain loader so you really get two in this combo pack all right and yes we're going to open one of each of these in the second half of the video so be sure to stay tuned next up we have a 950m wheel loader kind of cool looking in there all right, this one I think will be a favorite among everybody. That's the CT660 dump truck. Not only do you get a licensed dump truck with Caterpillar in the CT660, but you also get a licensed dump body. That is, in fact, the Ox dump body on the back. All right, another one that I think will be pretty well received, the 320F. Go great with the dump truck. Next, we have the D6RXL, track type tractor or bulldozer. I just can't get over how good the packaging is on this. If you're going down, let's role play for a minute. You're going down an, out, an aisle in the store and you see everything hanging on the pegs and you see these bright yellow blister packs with the cat logo. They're going to stand out really, really well. And the last one is the enclosed cab version of the Cat CB13 vibratory drum asphalt compactor. So a good assortment in this case, a little bit of everything, certainly some earth movers, some compact equipment, uh, excavating machines, dump truck, and then a compactor uh, for road paving fans. All right, that is the case assortment. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll have one of each of these on the spin table, and we'll go over them more in depth. Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for sticking with me. So the first set we'll take a look at is the multi-terrain loader and the skid steer loader. Uh, both of these offer excellent value. First off, the wheeled one, the wheels do roll. And the tracked one, the tracks do roll. You do have to be a little bit careful, but they will roll. Uh, you can see that there is a lot of movement. And you can raise it up. And you can also dump the bucket. So quite pleased with the functionality of both of these. The detail also is really good. You've got the cat decos all over the place. Uh, plastic piece for the front of the cab for the skid steers. And again, the paint is pretty spot on for cat yellow. Again, most of this casting is plastic. Uh, for example, the base is metal, but the body of the vehicle, the arms and the bucket, those are all plastic as well. Uh, actually, the arms might be die cast. The bucket is probably plastic. But again, the color match is really good that it is hard to tell what exactly is plastic or what's metal until you're physically uh, handling it. So, 
those are the two skid steers. Again, these two come in one blister pack, so it's not like you have to buy the compact track loader and then the skid steer, as you saw during the unboxing chapter of the video. These two come together in a set. Next up for review is the D6 track type tractor. Again, the main body component of the vehicle is plastic with the arms and the blade being metal. The ripper part is plastic as well. Again, the rubber PVC tracks, they will roll. In fact, if I put this on a surface, I don't know if you can see that in the background. You can't because the table's there. But the tracks are rolling very freely. As for functionality, there are no cylinders for the blade. As you can see, there should be some loose cylinders here. But again, that is, that's a compromise made to lessen the cost of the tooling. And the rear actually can go down and support the weight of the machine because everything is mostly plastic. So, great job on the bulldozer. Tracks work, blade works, ripper works. What else can you ask for? 950M wheel loader is up next. We have a good range of lift height for the lifting arms, loader arms. However, your bucket tilt, at least on this one, is almost non-existent. Other end of things, you can get a very aggressive cut angle. Wheels will roll, and there's a decent range of articulation. Metal content on here is limited to the back portion and the cab. This is plastic, this is plastic, and obviously the base of the vehicle is plastic. But certainly if you're picking up the dump truck, I think the 950M would be a good complement to it. Because it is high enough to get over the side. Let me show you that real quick. With ease, has no issue whatsoever getting over the side of the CT660 dump truck. Okay, let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take a look at the dump truck. Up next is the CAT CT660 dump truck with the Ox Stampede dump box on here. Cab is metal. Base of the vehicle on this one is actually metal. The dump box is plastic. The dump box can be raised to a decent angle. And the... Uh, tailgate does swing open as you can see the tailgate does come off really easily so if you are giving this to a younger child just be aware of that as a potential choking hazard uh, but other than that there are very little pieces on this on these models all of them that uh, could potentially come dislodged even with some heavy play uh, as far as the details on this you have the chrome tanks the silver wheels um, i even like the ox stampede decal as well as the lights all throughout the truck a nice, solid dump truck, and one that certainly there's nothing else on it in the market in this scale, uh, or for this price, rather. So, taking all that into account, this is, in my opinion, an absolute steal if you're looking for a dump truck in 164 scale. Moving right along onto the roller or the compactor. Top of it is plastic. Bottom of it is plastic. The drums themselves feel as though they are metal. And parts of the bottom of it, such as this articulation joint, those are that is metal as well. Everything else is plastic. Again, you can articulate the roller, but most importantly, does it roll? And as you can very clearly see on your screen now, yes, both drums will roll in either direction. What would be excellent to see is if hopefully somewhere down the line in the next couple of years, maybe we can get some paving equipment in 164 scale. Uh, side note here, it really blows my mind that there are no asphalt pavers by anyone in 164 scale that I am ever aware of uh, that has been produced over the years. That's shocking to me. So hopefully, maybe, we can uh, we can see some of that down the road. All right, we've got one more to go, and that's the excavator. Last of the 164 scale set is the Cat 320F hydraulic excavator. So boom, stick, bucket, all plastic. The back portion, which is the body, obviously, that is metal. The base as well, that is plastic, and the tracks are plastic. Moving straight into functionality, the tracks will roll, but they're really tight on this model. As with any excavator, you can rotate it 360 degrees. The boom leaves a lot to be desired, so be a little bit careful when you're manipulating the boom. The stick will reach out, and the bucket even on this will curl in and out and dump, which is excellent, uh, again, for the price point of this model. So that will conclude this Diecast Emporium overview of the 164 scale mass market Caterpillar models from Diecast Masters. Home run with these. 
no question about it whether you're a older collector uh, or a young collector, or maybe an older collector that's young at heart, I think these will appeal to almost everybody. Uh, again, the price point that they're offered at should be affordable to most everyone in this hobby, including young kids. So certainly, home run with these. Can't wait to see what this line does. You guys are the real judge. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.